Yes, we're on. Good day, guys. Alvin here, and I just came uh, from teaching. I just taught my, my student, Dan, and Dan is actually the one who uh, encouraged me, motivated me to, uh, motivated me to bring the, the system, you know, the ebook that I posted. So, uh, hi, Dan. I, I just want to talk about the ebook. Uh, this ebook, and I'm, I'm so stoked because I have so many questions about it and actually uh, let's check out um, loading yes I have here uh, Francis season uh, shout out to Francis Francis I think this is Carlo I don't, I'm not sure but if this is Carlo Carlo is already an amazing guitar player and he actually purchased the book I mean Wow, thank you. If, if, if this is you, Carlo, uh, please message or message or uh, comment. And I have here, oh my God, Jasper Lim. I don't know Jasper personally, but I think he's my friend on Facebook and he just bought all of it. Like one, first one, second one, third one. Thank you, Jasper. Shout out to Jasper. Oh, and also, I have here Ian and he's asking if it's effective and he's planning to buy all four. Yep. Go get the first one and then try it. Uh, but you know guys, that's why I made, I made the video. I, I, uh, I, I want to uh, explain what's inside the book and uh, I want to make a, you know, a, a lesson also in how I uh, created a system and stuff like that so let's let's get on with it uh, what is it all about the guitar fretboard visualization when you look at the piano you have white keys right in all the white keys you just play a b c d e f g a b c d blah blah, blah. you ask the piano player what is this note Bam, and they'll be like that's a pff, that's b boring it's e, so easy because you can easily see it and then you have the black keys when you press it, it's not gonna be sharp and flat, sharps and flats. <laughs> but with a guitar, you have this guitar and you have like, you know, six strings, sometimes seven, eight, nine, uh, I don't know how many. And then you have 24 frets. And then when I press it here, oh, what is that note? And what is that note? What is that note? And the student will be like, oh no, let's just play chords and songs, you know? But, you know, knowing the guitar or the, the fretboard is very, it's, it's essential, right? You can shred all you want. You can, you know, be the fastest guitar player in the world. But at the end of the day, it's all about you knowing your instrument. And knowing the, the, the fretboard is essential. You know, it is for uh, uh, scales, you know, chords, creating your own chords, creating your own music, and so like that. And all this, just the knowledge. It's, it's, it's the knowledge of, you know, uh, about the guitar and about the fretboard. Is, you know, for a guitar player, it's a must, let's say. So what's inside the book and what is guitar fretboard visualization? I'll give you a bit of a, a lesson. Maybe we'll just put it here. Okay, so can you see that? I have to move a bit. Yeah, like that. Let's see. Can you see it? Okay, the first thing is, let's say, let's start with the tuning. How the guitar is tuned, just to give you an idea. So this is E. Everyone knows the E note, right? And then what's the next one? You just go like E, F, G, A. See in four? So E, F, G, and this is A. So that's how the guitar is tuned. And then the next one is A, B, C, D. So this is A and then this is D. See, that's also four. What's the next one? D, that's the D. D, E, F, G. So this is G. So again, it's four, right? How about the next one? G, G, A, B, C. It should be C, right? No, it's B. How come? <laughs> so it changed, you know, this is G and this is B. And as a guitar player, if you know this, that this is different from, you know, because the, the, let's go to the next one, say B, B, C, D, E. So that's four again. So, so this is different. So as a guitar player, if you know the tuning and you know this stuff, it's gonna be easy for you to navigate, you know, on the fingerboard. Because it means you have to move, let's say, half step higher 
to, to be able to get yeah i'll explain it to you later i'll, I'll show it to you okay so this is the the e right? you got that and if you know your basic uh you know basic notes a b c d e f g a so what's next to e next to e is f yeah you can see that i'll move it yeah so that's going to be your f yeah and then what's next to f e f and then g so at first i will not go like really uh, uh deep into it so this is g so e f and then g yeah let's make it simple so we have e f and g got that that's easy and what's next to g e f g a so let's skip one more then that's going to be your a so e f g and a so let's stop there let's just focus on this now to be able to get the octaves the, the, the octave the octave is like the higher register it's going to be the same note but it's in the higher registers like uh if you have e here and then the e there so how do you get that uh in the book it's it's called string sets this is a set the sixth string and the fourth string okay so i i, uh, I call it there's a string set six four let's say so it's the six and the four so if you have uh let's go to f if you have f here so that's f you know that already what you have to do is just skip one fret so skip that and just go play the partner or the string set which is this one so that's gonna be your f and f octave f yeah so we already talked about that this is E, this is F, and what's next? This is G. So where's your G now? So this is your G. So we have F, and then this is G. So how do you get the E now? So just think about it like this. This is your E. Yeah, I don't have a <laughs> head stop. And then where's your E? So that's your E. Okay, so like that. You can memorize it by, you know, fingers. It's all in the book. How you do that, someone's calling. But I have to... Uh... <laughs> So we have E, and then F, and then G. Okay. So what's the next one? You want to go to the next one? That's it. <laughs> so E, E, F, F, G, A. So how many notes? E, F, G, A. That's four times two. So you have eight notes already memorized. You see that? And then you can use that in, you know, in your scales and your soloing. Not the best solo but just, <laughs> you know what i mean um that's one and then you can also look at it like like this like you know going down because if this is your e yeah and this is your e also like we talked about the tuning of the guitar so it means that you have the octave already with this one so you know that this is your f already so if you have your f so it means what well, this is this one mm -hmm, you got it that's f and this one g of course that's a g oh the a oh yeah and so on and so forth i'll just focus on this you know so e f g a so you have e e e f f f g g g a a a and uh i'll put it there so that you'll see that it's it's like a, uh, tr uh, like a triangle or something that you, you can easily visualize. It. It's all about visualization. Uh, we're going to make it like it's a, a white and black keys in a way, you know. So that's it. That's octave. And then we have their unison also. If this is A, that's A also. It's the same thing. You can use it in many, in many ways. But I'll just summarize like what's inside uh, the, the course. And basically, yeah, it's about looking at the, the fretboard, knowing intervals, which is very important, very essential, knowing intervals. Uh, what is this? What is that? That's the major six. We have their G and E, we have their A and, you know, F sharp, which is the major six. It sounds good, right? Uh, it's essential, guys. You have to know those stuff. If you really want to, uh, to progress in the, uh, the guitar playing, like in chords, simple as D, everyone knows D chord, right? So what is D uh, composed of? You have the D, 
that's your base which is the root yeah that's good this is your perfect fifth yeah and that's the a you have the d there the one also you know that's an octave and then we have the f sharp that is a major third so you have like one three five and you can put that everywhere on the fingerboard. You have the D here, you have the A there, you have the D, and they have the F sharp there. It's like same as that. We have the A there. We have the A, D, F sharp, we have the D there also. So it's all D, it's all D, D, it's all D. Okay, going back to this one, how will you use that? If you have a chord like let's say E, yeah, and you know that this is F, you just move this, this chord to that one. Put the F there, bar it, if you know bar chords already. So what is this one? That's F chord, simple, finished. And then you know that this is G, right? We have E, F, G. So put the G there and put the basic, you know, chord shape that's in the book also, with, you know, about moving transposition, stuff like that. Put it there. Then you have a G chord, move it. You have an A chord, E, F, G, A. And it all started from where? E, F, G, A. Put the chords E, F, G, A. So the book is all about that, guys. It's like really knowing, really knowing your notes. Like, what is that note? That's the D, that's the D. What is that? That's the D also. That's the A, that's the A, that's the A, that's the C, that's the C, that's the A, that's the D, that's the A, that's the F sharp, or that's the E flat, and stuff like that. Everything is laid out in the book. So that's the book all about. It's like really knowing your guitar. Okay, so uh, let's uh, get back to that. So I hope I, I, I shed light on, you know, uh, there's so many questions uh, that I, I mean, I'm getting, uh, especially in Facebook because I posted the, the, the ebook on Facebook. So guys, if you have any more questions, if uh, you want me to answer, like uh, what's inside this, inside that, and the first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, or you know anything about the the fretboard, fretboard visualization uh, topic. So just message me, and I'll be happy to to help. And again, it's not that expensive. I mean, here in Europe, uh, the, the the whole book one, two, three, four is just. It goes like a shirt. So it, it, this is a way for me to uh, to share, you know, the, the system that I, uh, in a way, in a way created. But you know, it's used by by all great guitar players. I just wanted, you know, to make it practical, easy, you know, how to easily uh, teach it. So for all the teachers, you can use it. Your all, all your students, you know, uh, just pick, you know, what works or maybe. This one doesn't work maybe you can create your own uh, it's 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 endless you know the possibilities are endless but i'm just starting out something that uh, maybe you know can help uh, especially the teachers who want to teach uh, the students uh, because I, I i've been using this for quite some time okay so thank you guys and that's about it um and have a good day and ciao